So the game's only been out for about a week and a half and we are already on our third event. So hopefully they keep firing out the content all year round. This is a great way to get a bunch of cards. And last event, it was pretty lackluster. We got 90 overall Don Sutton, not the worst card in the world. And then an 87 overall Willie Mays, which is just completely disrespected Willie Mays. But this one's much better, including the card I think every single person should work on grinding. It can fit on anybody's team. And somehow we have over a quadrillion wins. People who haven't been on the game or Twitter yet probably think I'm hacking this shit somehow or haven't touched grass in, well, forever. This event is called Parallel Paradise. It ends on April 21st. So it's a little bit longer than the previous two. We got about 10 days of this. You can use Face of the Franchise card, Face of the Franchise Legends and Flashbacks. I don't think the Face of the Franchise is supposed to be there. Doesn't make sense. So probably Legend and Flashbacks, Live Series card, Max Team Overall 99, three inning games on All-Star difficulty. Taking a look at the rewards, you're gonna get a couple packs up front. You'll get a headliner at 10 wins. And then once you get to 20 wins, you will get 90 overall rookie, Honus Wagner, 95 contact right, 100 contact left. Very, very weak power, weak on the fielding, but he's got 96 speed too. So not the worst card in the world. I like the contact, I like the speed, but man, he is 66 fielding in the middle infield's not gonna cut it. The power is also terrible as well. You get a set two headliners pack at 23 wins, and then at 25 wins, this is the card I think everybody should work on grinding. You have 10 days to do this, you need to average 2.5 wins a day on three inning games, not bad at all, is this 91 overall prime Steve Ciszek. Reason being is he, one, he has a funky delivery, a weird like sidearm delivery that's already hard enough to hit. You add 100 hits per nine, 104 Ks per nine, he's gonna be really, dude, these stats are ridiculous, honestly. I knew this card was gonna be good, but I didn't think he was gonna be this good. 96 home runs per nine as well, 97 break, 111 pitch and clutch. His stats are amazing. And then a reliever with a five pitch mix with the funky delivery, he has a sinker, great. Slider, fastball, splitter, change up. His pitch repertoire is amazing and his windup similar to Darren O'Day if you've ever used that card. It's very quick, but it's like a submarine style. So it's gonna give people a lot of fits, but the stats, man, this card's gonna be damn good. He's probably not gonna have any crazy quirks, but definitely recommend every single person gain this because I guarantee you he's one of the best relievers in the game. He'll fit into anybody's bullpen. You can keep going past that. Third ones, you'll get a set three headliner. Big dog pack at 35 wins. A, what is this? 10 pack bundle at 45 wins. And then if you get 50 wins in a freaking week and a half, shout out to you. You're a grinder, bro. Once I'm getting that 25 wins, I'm tapping out. But you can get this set two pack and hopefully get a rare round, which will have Bobby Witt, John Franco, or Adam Dunn. So a lot of good choices right here. I think the Honus Wagner is okay. I think it's better than both Don Sutton and Willie Mays was last week. And it's a rookie you can use later in the year towards the like big uh, collection that we'll get in probably like July. But the Steve C Shack, dude, this is, this is a great card. He's probably a top three reliever in the entire game just because of his pitch mix and then 100 hits per nine and a funky delivery. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this card's gonna be really good. It's not a big name. It's fucking Steve Ciszek, but he's gonna be really, really good. I don't think we had anything else come out. I think it's just a brand new event. Once again, that'll go till April 21st, which is next Thursday. No update on the content schedule. We got the new event today. Tomorrow, we get a Tuesday content drop, which is gonna include moments. Central Conquest map for XP. So that's another like 30K XP and the headliner set for it. So we'll get some more content tomorrow. And then Friday is the mystery one. That's a big one. It's Jackie Robinson day. So we'll get a new player program. Assuming that it's gonna be something related to Jackie Robinson. You'll get Tops Now Player arrive with a legend lightning player review, which I'll probably talk about either tomorrow or tonight at some point. I'm undecided yet, but I think it's gonna be a legend from just previously who had an insane month. So this one, you could see like a David Ortiz, or you could see, I don't know, I think no Prince Fielder was made. There are a lot of options. You just gotta find somebody who had an insane month of April. And there's possibly, we could get a lightning legend player with tops now. If that's the case, that's a fucking huge addition to the game. That's gonna be so cool. So I'm excited to see what they do for that new player program. But let me know what you think of the new event. 
definitely recommend it. I give you guys my honest feedback with the events and everything, my opinion if you do it or not. This one you definitely should. That's Steve Shusek, really good. You only need 25 wins in a 10 day span. Not the worst thing in the world. So let me know if you're gonna try it out. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.